Hello, everybody. Welcome to this brief webinar introducing and summarizing the TechPlot Academic Suite, the license option made available for our academic users. My name is Jared McGarry, the Academic Account Manager here at TechPlot. Feel free to email me if you do have questions after the webinar. So here's the agenda for today. The purpose of this presentation is to inform you of the tools that we make available for our academic users. And if you are already using one of our tools to make you aware of the other tools you also get with the TechPlot Academic Suite. So I will begin with a summary of the disciplines and industries that already benefit from using tools that are in the Academic Suite. I will give a description of what the TechPlot Academic Suite is and provide some summaries of the tools available in it. I will mention who can use the suite, which groups at universities can make use of this license option. Then show some unique research applications of TechBot software specific to some of our academic users. And then I'll provide a quick summary of some of the non-academic organizations that are already using TechBot software. And finally, I will close with options for getting started using the TechBot academic suite right away, and then we'll answer your questions. So what disciplines are already using one of these tools in the TechBot Academic Suite? Virtually any STEM discipline can find a useful application of TechBot software, whether it's in a school of engineering, sciences, or even medicine. A large percentage of our users are in aerospace engineering or in mechanical engineering. This includes aerodynamics and aerospace, but also includes the automotive industry. Aerospace use our tools for aircraft design and launch design automotive industry for aerodynamic design, as well as internal combustion simulation and battery thermal propagation simulation, marine engineering for hydrodynamic simulation, petroleum engineering for reservoir simulation data. We also have users in geoscience involving oceanography, groundwater modeling, river morphology, and water quality modeling. Users in biomedical use our tools to assist in pharmacology, physiology, virology, and the designing of safer prosthetic heart valves. Engineers and energy industries use our software for oil and gas, geothermal, wind, wave, hydroelectric or nuclear reactor simulation. Civil engineers for structural analysis and environmental impact. Electrical engineering for simulating semiconductor fabrication and many other applications. So in multiple disciplines, TechBot software has been and is still being used by students, faculty and researchers to better understand the results of simulation and experimental data in their work. So what is the TechPlot Academic Suite? The Academic Suite includes all TechPlot software in one package. So with a license of the suite, you get access to TechPlot 360 for CFD visualization and analysis, which also includes the PyTechPlot Python API and TechPlot Chorus for parametric studies. And now you will also get access to FieldView for CFD, which creates high quality 3D plots and includes client server architecture and MPI parallel for handling large grids and TechPlot RS for oil and gas reservoir visualization. So the academic suite really is the best package of post-processing tools for students and faculty of academic institutions. So the first of the tools listed, TechPlot 360 has been our flagship software for years and has long been trusted as a multi-purpose post-processor by engineers and scientists to remove any doubt in their designs or analyses by providing clear visualization of their complex data. TechPlot 360 can efficiently handle large billion cell data sets for you to visualize your simulated or experimental data from multiple industry standard data formats and our own proprietary data format SZL or subzone load on demand. SZL format divides large volume zones into smaller subzones that are not loaded by TechPlot 360 until a plot element demands it, resulting in reduced memory usage and faster manipulation of the data. Built-in CFD analyzer, Toolkit also gives you the option of performing integrations, extracting key flow features such as vortex cores and shock surfaces, calculating new variables and more for additional analysis of your data. And another benefit of using TechPlot 360 is the ability to not only create visually impressive 3D plots, but to also create 2D and XY plots for detailed engineering decision-making. With the multiple frames, it gives you the option of viewing these different plot styles linked together in the same workspace. And then the Python API for TechPlot 360, named PyTechPlot, builds upon this by not only allowing you to automate your work in TechPlot 360, including through distributed parallel processes, but also opens up tools for analysis of your data to include Python libraries like NumPy or SciPy. And then a tool that launches separate from, but is included in the installation of TechPlot 360 for Windows and Linux is TechPlot Chorus. TechPlot Chorus allows you to analyze ensembles of data, 
For example, if you're doing design experiments or trade studies, TechPluck course will help you see the big picture and then filter down to the details by launching the relevant data sets in the study in TechPluck 360 so that you get to the answers you need more efficiently. So that's our first tool, TechPluck 360. Uh, but now the most recent addition to the TechPluck academic suite is FieldView, a fast, easy to use and reliable CFD post-processing and visualization tool. It will efficiently handle time-dependent data and turn your data into realistic images and animations that help your colleagues and customers understand the value of your work. You can really make your plot stand out with FieldView using rendering of materials like glass, chrome, or rubber, and including background images to set the scene. And a big part of the reliability of FieldView is that it will help you tackle your largest data files without having to move data to local machines. So with even large remote data can be read on a range of hardware from desktops and even laptops to the most powerful HPC system. With FieldView client in server mode, start a server process on the machine where the data resides, then start the client for interactive use on your desktop. And FieldView only sends the information needed to create the visualization. Then once that info is local, you can interact without having to pull info from the remote machine. And the client server architecture is also used for MPI parallel operation, giving you access to more cores and more memory with options for 32 and 64 cores. Multi-threading is used automatically without the user taking action, and FieldView will look at the available resources on your system and use what is available to make surface creation faster. So whether you use MPI parallel, parallel or not, FieldView will give you the best possible performance for your hardware configuration. So these are several of the capabilities that FieldView really excels at in comparison to TechBot360. However, both TechBot360 and FieldView share a lot of common features and strengths. They can each be used to analyze and visualize scientific data, especially CFD data from a wide variety of sources. They're both extremely reliable, have impressive backward compatibility, unmatched technical support, and are easy to use. Additionally, both FieldView and TechBot360 have been highly tuned for speed and efficiency on data sets of all sizes. And the great news about the TechPlot Academic Suite is that you do not have to choose one or the other because you will get both of these excellent post-processing tools in the same package as well as TechPlot RS. So speaking of TechPlot RS, the last of the big three tools in the TechPlot Academic Suite, this is our reservoir simulation software. And TechPlot RS is a workflow-based reservoir simulation post-processor, which is compatible with all of the commercial codes such as Eclipse, CMG, VIP or Nexus, and university codes such as UTCAM and UTCOM. It is easier to use than similar tools like Petrel RE and more robust than the built-in post-processing tools of other codes. And with the streamlined interface and instructional material we provide, you can be a fully trained TechBot RS user within half a day. So if you are involved in petroleum engineering, you will want to take advantage of TechBot RS, which is already being used at universities like Stanford, University of Texas, Colorado School of Mines, and at companies like Chevron, Oxy, Marathon, Hess, Hillcorp, and more. So that is a summary of the tools available in the academic suite. Next, uh, who can use the TechPlot academic suite? Uh, as alluded to earlier, these are the license options that we make available for our academic users at degree granting higher education institutions. And there are two main categories for these TechPlot academic suite licenses. Single user or seat limited group licenses are available to students and faculty for use in an, an, in an instructional or teaching capacity. And then there are three site license options that can be used by students and faculty in the same manner. Uh, but we also allow for use by other groups such as formula teams and other researchers. So these site licenses provide an effectively unlimited seat count for the department or college or campus that owns the license. So those are the two groups. We have the single user and seat limited that are uh, intended for purely instructional use. And then we have these site license options depending on whether you need it for a department or for a college or for an entire university campus. Uh, so next, I wanna show some uses of TechPlot software from our existing academic users. So here is an example of a unique application of TechPlot 360 from Professor Kiao Inthabong at Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology and his CFD research group. So for this, uh, uh, study. It's about nasal saline irrigation, which is a therapy technique where a solid, solid liquid solution cleans the nasal passages. So squeeze bottles deliver the solution into the nasal cavity as liquid jets. However, the reasons why squeeze bottles were effective for nasal irrigation were not well known from an engineering perspective. So Kiao and Tabong and his CFD research group wanted to better understand the flow dynamics of liquid jet irrigation. 
Using CT scans of actual human patients from ENT clinicians, his team reconstructed a computational model of a human nasal cavity and applied the multi-phase volume of fluid or VOF approach to track the liquid air interface of the nasal irrigation within the human nasal cavity domain. And the result was large transient data that TechPlot360 could effectively handle to visualize the flow with the VOF method to reveal the liquid jet behavior within a human nasal cavity. And then the PyTechPlot Python API was used to automate parts of the workflow and the results of the study were used in the redesign of a squeeze bottle. So here's an interesting application of our tools, uh, 360 being used for research and having an impact on the industry as well. Next is an academic research application of FieldView that comes to us from Professor Xiang Qiu Li and his group at the University of California, Davis. The main purpose of the group's research is to investigate aerodynamic and acoustic characteristics of modern rotorcraft configurations based on high fidelity CFD simulations. And they are particularly interested in detailed acoustic analysis of a modern lift offset coaxial rotorcraft and a quad rotor or side-by-side -side electrical takeoff and landing or EVTOL aircraft. And they will also be conducting research on aerodynamics and acoustics of small drones and investigate the impact of aerodynamic stall on rotorcraft noise in the near future. So field view was used primarily to visualize the CFD grids, identify the complex flow interactions, and determine the origin of sound sources uh, in the data. Next is an example using TechPlot360. This research comes courtesy of Alec Menzer at the University of Virginia. So researchers at the University of Virginia and Villanova University are studying the flow and odor topology of schooling fish to uncover novel interactions and sensing capabilities in biorobotic fish schools. So here the flow is visualized by the Q criterion, which is the blue isosurface, and odor concentration dispersed by the body of the leader is visualized by normalized odor intensity, which is the orange isosurface. So here's another uh, unique application of uh, one of our tools, 360. And finally, here's an academic research application of FieldView that comes to us from Florida State University, courtesy of Professor S. Uni Krishnan at the Computational Aerosciences Laboratory. And here, Uni described the animation as follows. Inlets have an important role in supersonic aircraft. They channel airflow into the engines. Presence of the aircraft. Uh, for, for body results in undesirable flow features being ingested into the inlet, impacting its efficiency and safety of the engine. And shown are a couple of simulations that model aerodynamics of a generic supersonic inlet under ideal and impacted conditions performed as part of a collaborative Office of Naval Research supported effort. So those are just a handful of examples of how our tools are being used for academic research applications right now. So where else is TechPlot software being used? Our tools are being used at hundreds of universities already, but where else are these tools being used outside of academia? TechPlot is close to 50,000 customers worldwide at aerospace organizations like Boeing, NASA, Northrop Grumman, Lockheed Martin, Airbus, SpaceX, and Blue Origin. Energy companies like Chevron, Oxy, Marathon, Hess, and Hillcorp are using TechPlot RS. And in geoscience industries and research laboratories like Idaho, Lawrence Livermore, Los Alamos, Oak Ridge, Pacific Northwest, and Sandia National Laboratories, and U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, U.S. Ge Geological Survey, and TetraTech are using our tools as well. So if you are a student interested in working at any of these companies, using the tools in the TechPlot Academic Suite right now will give you an advantage in being brought onto the teams at these companies that are already using our software. So how do you get started using the TechPlot Academic Suite? The first thing you can try is just message the IT department at your university to see if there is already a license available for you at your school. You can also go to our website to apply for a license and download a free trial of our tools in the meantime at techplot.com slash free. Or you can contact me directly at j.mcdary at techplot.com to begin an evaluation and see what your options are for a full license of your own. Training resources for our software can also be found on our website at techplot.com slash support slash techplot dash training. And then from here, you can also earn your, earn your TechPlot 360 basic certification to put on your resume or LinkedIn profile if you want. And you can contact our technical support team if you do have any questions uh, regarding TechPlot after the webinar as well.